What's up everybody, this is Bruce aka Geektacular and today I have another unboxing for you. Today I'm going to be unboxing Starlink Battle for Atlas on the Nintendo Switch. So this is a really cool new space dogfighting kind of sim. Um, it's kind of also got some open world elements as well. I think you can go to different planets, you can mine um, for resources, I think you can build stuff. Um, but there's a lot of combat involved. There's like boss fights and things like that. Um, a lot of a lot of spaceship dogfighting sort of stuff. Um, and this game actually came out on a couple different platforms. It came out on, uh, I believe, Xbox One, Switch, and PS4. All three of them, not PC, unfortunately. And I was gonna, I was thinking about picking it up for PS4 because you can get it for any system. But the thing that sold me for the Switch version is that it comes with all this extra ultra cool Star Fox stuff. And you don't get this with any of the other versions. Even if you have the actual um, toys, which unlock the digital stuff in the game, you can't use this on other platforms. Um, you don't get the Star Fox missions on other platforms. I don't think you can use the R-Wing either on the other platforms. I think it's all, all the Star Fox stuff, all the assets are exclusive to the Switch version. And I'm a really big Star Fox fan. I have every Star Fox game. Um, I've played them all, so I know this is not an official Star Fox game, but it's a game where you get to play as Fox and the R-Wing in space battling stuff, shooting stuff. So, I mean, it's not too far off uh, from Star Fox. Um, and you also get some missions that are specifically Star Fox based. Uh, you get to see some of your your pals like Slippy and Falco, I think, and Peppy and all those guys. Um, and Star Wolf, I believe, is in it as well. So you get these exclusive missions in addition to the ultra cool actual physical toy here of the R-Wing, which I don't have a model of the R-Wing or anything like that. So this really sold me on it. So this is one of those toys to life games. So in order to unlock things in the game, you have to um, have you, you have to unlock it with either one of these physical toys, so there's like weapon toys, uh, vehicle toys, and character toys, or you can actually get everything digitally too, which I think is the perfect compromise. If you don't care about the toys, you don't want the toys, you don't have to buy them. You can buy all this exact same stuff digitally as well. But if you like the toys, if you want physical collectibles, or if you only want certain things, like you just want all the ships or something, you can buy physical versions of all the ships, unlock them in your game, and then um, just buy digital everything else. You can do that kind of thing too. So um, I like the flexibility. I think that's how game or toys to life should have been from day one. Make them optional, um, so you can get them digitally if you want, or you can just um, get them physically too. So let me go ahead and show you this box. Um, comes with this uh, nice translucent window. This is just for the Switch version, so this one comes with the R-Wing, and this actually has two characters. I think the PS4 version um, and the Xbox One version only come with one, um, this guy. But these, as you can see, come with um, both Fox and the R-Wing, and two weapons, and a controller mount. So, the cool thing about this game, and let me see if it shows you on here. Yeah, you can kind of get an idea from looking at this, but... Basically, there's like a little plastic mount that you mount your um, your ship to, and that actually connects to your controller. So for the Switch, I think you can connect the Joy-Cons to it, and then you it's got a little mounting slot for your vehicle toy, and then you can put the character um, kind of in inside the cockpit, and then there's two mounting ports for um, the weapons. So you can unlock it that way. Although I've heard that um, once you do that, once you unlock them once initially in your game, you can actually just switch digitally. So you don't have to actually physically swap these toys in and out every time you want to equip a new weapon or something. Once you unlock it once in the game, you can do it that way if you like to do that. But if you just want to do it from the game menu, you can actually switch all these things digitally too. So it's just kind of the initial unlock um, is what you would only need to be using these for. But you could switch them out physically if you think that's fun. Um, so again, that just advertises the Star Fox stuff right there. Let's take a look at the side. This just tells you what's included. I guess that guy is Mason Rana. 
gives you kind of the model numbers, comes with a flamethrower, which is what that red thing is, and a frost barrage. So I think this game also has sort of an elemental system as well, like ice creatures are vulnerable to fire and stuff like that. Um, so it comes with this mount, which I'll show you as well, and the game, it's a physical version of the game itself, and a poster. Top is just red Nintendo logo. Just a slightly closer look at the back. So, um, in addition to the Star Fox stuff, you also get a digital Zenith ship, which is the ship that comes with other versions of this game. So, like the PS4 version comes with the Zenith ship. So, instead of getting it physic, instead of getting it physically with the Switch version, you get it digitally. And same thing with this extra weapon that comes with the other versions. Instead of including it as a physical toy, um, they just give it to you digitally which is pretty nice. So you're not missing anything by getting this version. You're actually getting more stuff. So yeah, pretty cool. Bottom is just fine print here. Nothing too exciting there. Let's go ahead and open this up. So it just opens up like that. And we'll just slide this out. Oop. So the game is actually on the bottom, so be careful. It's like underneath this plastic tray. And we'll take out everything one at a time so you can see it and get all the other stuff out of here. Okay. And that's all that's in the box. So I'll go ahead and close the box up and just kind of put it in the back corner over here. Okay. So let's take a look at the, the um, kind of toy part of this here. So let's see, I'll go ahead and take the R-Wing out first. So it's very well held in here with plastic. So you wanna be careful taking it out. Which I'm trying to be here. Okay. All right. So this is the R-Wing. It is awesome. <laughs> it is really cool. Um, the cockpit is even translucent, so you can see Fox's face in there when you put him in, which I'm going to do in a second, because that sounds awesome. I'll try to give you a good look over. It does have some actual, like, sculpting and stuff. Um, I'll try to keep the focus here for you, if I can get it to focus. There we go. So you see it does have some, like, detail sculpting there on the front and on the wings. It's got some color variations. These black things are where you mount the weaponry. It's got the Star Fox logos on it. And again, this is like a clear blue piece of plastic there. And here's the back. Again, it's kind of hard to see, um, but it's got the thruster there in the back and a bunch of detail around that, which looks really cool. Um, and then this looks to be, so this is actually a, a little mini PCB. So this is where it actually plugs in. Um, and where it reads all the data from the R-Wing from. So yeah, that is very cool. Obviously the first thing I need to do is make it do a barrel roll, um, of course. But, so let's go ahead and put Fox in there. Um, so let me take Fox out. All right, there is Fox. And again, let me see if I can get you a good focus on it. So it's actually very detailed for being so small. And it's kind of weird. It's actually like flexible plastic. Um, it's not quite as hard as some of these other um, kind of mini toys are, like some Amiibos and things like that. It's actually kind of like flexible plastic. But the paint on it's really nice. It's got a cool silver jacket. It's got a scarf, his headset, um, all that stuff. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And it's got a plastic thing, a clear plastic thing on the back, which I think is what helps it lock in when you put it into the vehicle. And then I think they all have the same kind of base on them or a similar base. So it's like kind of gray metallic. Um, and then again, here is a little mini um, PCB right here, which is where it actually transmits what it is uh, to the rest of the system. That's where it actually plugs in. So it's got a little Nintendo copyright at the bottom there uh, and four little screws if you ever need to take it apart, I guess. So yeah, so one thing I'm definitely keen to do is see if I can put Fox in here. So I guess all you do is just put him in here, 
push it up and until it snaps. Yeah, it just kind of lightly snaps in. And let's see. Oh, it's kind of hard to see. Um, let me see if I can jack up the lighting. Maybe you can see it. Yeah, you can kind of see them in there. It's kind of dark. Um, but if you look through the cockpit, you can actually see Fox's face in there, um, which is very cool. He's not really looking the right direction. He's not looking out of the cockpit. He's kind of looking to the side, um, but that's okay. You can still at least kind of see him in there, which is pretty neat. Um, so yeah, that is very cool. Uh, if nothing else, once you unlock the R-Wing in your game digitally us using this toy, um, you can just sit it up somewhere if you don't ever want to touch it again. You could mount it, and um, it's just a cool Star Fox collectible, basically. All right, and this is the other figure, Mason. Again, he's kind of like flexible. It kind of feels a little rubbery um, and flexible, but he does have go cool looking paint job on him as well. Very similar base. Same little PCB thing there, same little plastic thing that locks him in. So you can put him in the R-Wing if you want to. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm impressed by the detail of these. They look really nice. Um, and that's what the bottom looks like there. So yeah, that's very cool as well. And again, you get his ship digitally uh, as well. Then I'll take a look, probably a less comprehensive look at the two weapons here, just to kind of see what they are like. So here is the um, fire weapon. Cool metallic paint job, um, a lot of detail here and there, and obviously kind of color coded in the front. Oh, and it gives you a little elemental symbol right there, just in case you're not exactly sure which element it is. So that's kind of nice. And then here's the last one. This one is kind of hard to pop out. I'm gonna have to get it from the bottom. Kind of afraid to try to like. Maybe I can get it out this way. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. Sorry about the noise. Oh my gosh. That was really deep in there. Um, so yeah, these are. These are. A lot of these feature like the tip of the R wing and this part of the toy is like made of like rubber, like flexible rubbery plastic. That's what kind of these blue parts are here. Um, and this one has the kind of frost symbol right there. Um, so let's go ahead and just put these on the R wing and see what they look like when they're attached. So go ahead and put this right here. And again, it's just like a little slot little socket right there just snaps right down onto it like that goes on really easy bam and that's it to take it off it, it's really easy like I can do it with with two fingers without any problem so not worried about it um, getting stuck or being too hard the character is a little bit harder you have to put a little bit of pressure on it um, Actually, I don't know quite how to get this out. I guess you just have to pull on it a little bit. I'm a little afraid to at the moment, but but yeah, the weapons at least come off really easily. They just slide on and off. Um, and then here's the actual Joy-Con grip. And that's all that's in the, the plastic there. So you can chuck it after you get all that stuff out. But yeah, it's got the um, Starlink logo right there. This is where you put your two Joy-Cons in right here. And then this is where your ship uh, is attached. So you can see it's got one little slot right there, and one little slot at the top. And basically, once you have it all together, it's kind of got these little guides on the side there. And you, I guess you just slide it in like this um let's see i'm actually not 100 percent sure i guess you, whoa 
Oh, so, okay, so I guess you're supposed to put this in first, and then you put this in over it. That makes much more sense. <laughs> so there you go. Yes, okay. So there you go. It locks in that way. So that's how you have to do it. You put the character on first, and then you put the ship on top of the character. So if you want to play like this, Joy-Cons go right here, and you can have your R-Wing right there, and you can be playing like this. Um, or if that's kind of unwieldy and crazy, once you unlock all this stuff in the game, um, I think you can just... So I imagine to take this off, you just pull, pull the ship off like that, and then slide out the character, and that's it. So I think that design is actually pretty good. Also in the box is just a warranty card. Um, I will open this poster and attempt to show it to you. Probably won't put this anywhere. Probably just maybe put this back in the original bag for now. Maybe I'll find a cool spot for it. Um, I'm hoping that this Switch one is maybe Star Fox related. That would be nice. Maybe not though. Maybe it's the same for all the platforms. So has your kind of some basic cool artwork for the original Starlink uh, characters and ships. And then on the back side, so this is actually a poster that lists all of the, um, all the, the physical figures that you can buy. So these are all actually just the original IP characters. So this doesn't include the Star Fox stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm assuming the same poster comes with all of the different versions because it only includes the Ubisoft characters and all that kind of stuff. No Star Fox. It would have been cool if the Switch version came with a Star Fox poster. I would have liked that a lot more, but you know, you can't have everything, right? Um, and then the final thing in here, one might argue the most important thing, is the actual um, game itself on a card. This does warn that an internet download is required and you might need a micro SD card for this. Um, and it's probably because it has a really big initial um, update, I would imagine, a big day one update that is required to play it, I suppose. So that's probably why they've plastered uh, that warning all over um, both the box and the actual um, game case artwork itself. I think maybe a sticker would have sufficed. I don't know if they really need to actually print it on the artwork. That's a little bit obnoxious, um, but what are you gonna do? So, just gonna show this to you real quick. Here's the case itself. Regular old artwork there. Here's the spine, red with the Ubisoft logo at the bottom. Doesn't have a little um, picture like some of them have right there, little thumbnail. Um, and it says it requires a download of at least four gigabytes. So there is the back of the case. I don't think there's any codes or anything in here. Mm, no. So the only thing in here is a little technical support manual um, that has some information, basically a little warranty card inside of here. No artwork on the inside, just white. And then here is the cartridge itself. So it's kind of like got a black and blue um, space kind of background. It just has the Starlink logo there. So yeah. Um, so yeah, that is uh, Starlink Battle for Atlas for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, you get the physical copy of the game itself. You get a cool poster. Um, it either just has Starlink artwork or a, a compilation of all the different toys that you can purchase. The Switch version comes with a Joy-Con grip, so you can put the ship and your character on it. Although the other versions, like the PS4 and Xbox versions, come with um, mounts similar to this that attach to those controllers. Um, and then it comes with two characters, Mason and Star Fox. Um, the Switch version comes with the R-Wing uh, and these particular two weapons. Other platforms come with a slightly different ship non-Star Fox related, um, and it's slightly different weapons as well. So yeah, that is basically it, guys. Um, if you like this unboxing, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. That would be awesome. And if you like these kinds of videos, if you like video game videos, if you like collectibles, 
Funko Pops, or if you just like geeky stuff like Star Trek, Star Wars, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, anime, kaiju films, anything like that, go ahead and click subscribe down below, and also be sure to hit that notification bell down below, so that way you won't miss any of my future content. So thanks so much for watching, everyone, and I'll catch you next time.